how to get the perfect green screen in OBS just like I have here. I'll show you all my settings on this special green screen episode of The George Show. Here is my setup without a green screen. You can see I have all of this space behind me. And then when I click one button, whoa, not that button, then the green screen turns on. Here are my settings, which I use for my green screen. It's a chroma key, and you can see I've adjusted my similarity, my smoothness, and my color key split reduction. And the key is the select color. What I do is I turn off the chroma key, then I select color, and then I choose pick from the screen, pick screen color, and then I pick something uh, representative of my green background behind me. That is how I get the color, and then I play with this similarity, which I will show you in real time now, to get the right amount so I'm not just a floating ghost, and I don't see any of the green behind me, and in this case, it's 90 is my perfect number. Now that number will change based on the time of day, based on the you know, color of your green in behind you. So there isn't one number that works for all. Another key point is to set the sharpness of your webcam. So I use 209 for my sharpness. Oh, and this is Avienda behind me in case you didn't know, my 10 year old daughter. Sharpness is very important because it makes all of your little hairs stand out. So let me show you the default sharpness of 128. And now I'm gonna to go to 209. Do you see how everything becomes, this is no sharpness, this is with sharpness. So if you, especially if you're looking at this video in full uh, screen, you'll see the difference in that. And then what I do is I leave everything else on default, but for the uh, low light compensation, I always turn that off because I find low light compensation uh, makes my movement not as smooth. And my glasses are fogging up because it's in, I'm here in Dubai and it's kind of hot, even with the aircon on. So uh, how do you do your green screen freedom family? Tell me in the comments below. I would love to know what tools and settings you use and send a link to a video of your green screen so we can see the result like I'm showing you here, my result. Was this video helpful? Do you want to see more tip videos about OBS? Tell me down there in the comments below so I know what you would like to see. Um, a few other tips. Also do your color correction. This is an important part of the process because if I go to my default brightness of zero, this is how I look. I am too bright. So I use minus 28 for my brightness today, but it depends again on the time of day and whether it's daylight or not. Currently it's uh, pitch black outside. For contrast, I also go above zero because if you don't, you look a little, this is, this is contrast zero, the default. You look a little dirty. Here it feels a lot like it brings you out uh, more detail, though the colors are crisper. And if you go too much, well then it just looks fake. So you need to find the right number. For me, I, th I feel 24 is the, is the right number and minus 28 for my brightness. I don't play with the saturation much. I, I give it 16 because if it's zero, I look kind of white, but with too much, I look kind of red. So 16 seems to be my favorite sweet spot. Uh, I normally don't change that even if it's uh, daylight. And yeah, those are the only two settings I use for getting this green screen effect. Even so, when I move quickly, you can see the green. So I have to move slowly so you don't see the green. But overall, it's pretty good. I also have limits, like this is the top of my box right here where you, my hands are being cut off. And this is the edge. So it's not as big as I would like it to be. And you can see there's a little um, here. You can see the imperfection. So normally what I do is in OBS, I move myself so I'm in the corner so it hides the imperfection. That's just due to lighting. And, and the better lighting I have, the, the, the better the green screen will be. 
Yes, Avienda. We have less than 25 minutes until the mall <laughs> Apparently, we have less than 25 minutes before the mall closes, so I have to cut this short. I won't be reading your comments today, but I will in the next episode of The George Show. Send me more comments down there. I will reply to every single one that I see. But not now. But not now, as my daughter Avienda correctly pointed out. Who am I? I am George, who is rushing to get to the mall before it closes. Papa George, George Sun Pie, and many other names you, the beautiful Freedom Family, and Avienda has given me. I am the CEO and founder of Freedom for Freedom and the Freedom Family, where we all help each other grow together as a family. And I now have to run because Avienda will be very unhappy. Goodbye, Freedom Family. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe to this channel and gong, gong, gong that bell, not dong. Thank you, Quintus Minimus, for that correction. And I hope you enjoy the content I've been making for you. I am George, and you've been watching The George Show. Ooh, you're dreaming about love. Yeah. Click that I to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.